So, what finally convinced you to buy a Weber gas grill? The 45-day test drive. Genesis, the Weber of gas grills. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Scotty's Backyard Barbecue. Today I am going to show you how to grill the perfect ribeye on a 30-year-old Weber Genesis gas grill. It has beautiful steak. Picked this up. Got some good marbling in her from my local butcher shop, the Rice Lake Butcher Shop. I always support your local butcher shop, no matter what town you live in, especially these hard times right now. We're going to season it with some salt, pepper, and give it a good dunk and some clarified butter in the here, and all this stuff. We'll go out and after we season this, we'll bring it up to room temperature, go out and fire up the old grill, and we'll cook us up a steak. Alright? And remember, you'll support your brother YouTubers. I'd like to thank Tommy for sending me these stickers. Appreciate it very much. I'll have a link to his channel in my show me more description box. And always support YouTubers like we do each other. Ever since I met Tommy, my channel has grown quite a bit. Thanks, Tommy, for your support. Alright, guys. We'll get this all seasoned up. Go we'll fire up that grill. And I'll show you how to make the perfect ribeye on a 30 year old Weber Gas Genesis. Be right back, folks. Hi, right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Scotty's Backyard Barbecue. Today we got this well marble steak we're going to get seasoned up here. Going in with a little kosher salt. Bring this in up to room temperature. Do this all the way around to all the sides. There we go. All the sides. Take that all on there. Alright, now we got some coarse black pepper here, folks. Put a little bit on that on there. Alright, and then we're going to give it a dunk in some clarified butter, just a little bit, clarified butter, alright, just like that, can you see that folks, don't worry a little bit might fall off, don't sweat it, look at that folks. A nice clarified butter. All right, we got the grill outside screaming hot. We'll go out there and throw this on. Be right back. All right, guys. Got it hot. Going on up. Don't need some clarified butter. Got a nice little wrap. Flame. Don't sweat that, folks. Two minutes each side. Two minutes. Two minutes, we'll flip it. We do a total of about eight minutes until we get the internal temperature of 125. Oh, hang on. Two minutes. All right, while well, we're waiting for the two minutes to go up. <laughs> A little something about my grill. It's about a 30 year old Weber Genesis. I restored it. People have been wanting to see me do some cooks on it. So I did a uh, burgers on it last week. You want to go check that video out. And uh, I'll be maybe I'll try some ribs on it. We'll get a little smoke box for it. Now I'm not a propane man, I'm all charcoal, but this is a Weber classic collector's item. So I restored it. And I love old Webers. Alright, we're coming up on two minutes. Hmm. Hey, these little temperature gauges here, believe it or not, are really accurate for an old for an old Weber, any type of of any type of grill. These little temperature gauges are accurate. Coming up on two minutes. We'll give this a nice 
point right over here. We'll go another two minutes. Then after we reach, we're gonna melt down some butter. I got a little thyme and rosemary in there. We'll base that with that. Anyway, we're waiting for those two minutes. We wanna go check out uh, Tommy. He's helped uh, my channel out a lot. <laughs> Gallery Backyard Barbecue guy, pretty cool. <clears throat> he talked me into, didn't really talk me into it, got me this master built. Hey Tommy, got the old sticker there Tommy. Thanks a lot Tommy for your support. That thing works pretty good. I want to buy it for low and slow, it'll never go over 250 ever. And I got all these other stuff, I'm charcoal man. I got over 20 Weber kettles. See my little, how we do this, little 18 inch there in the background. Pretty old, I had that for since 1981. And of course I got the the big guy here. So be doing some briskets on that soon. All right, the old Genesis coming up pretty smoky there. I love it. All right, coming up on two minutes. Nice char on there. Another two minutes. All right, while, that, while that's cooking, make sure you get a nice thick steak, or you won't get that crust you need on the bottom of it. All right, you get too thin, you cook too fast, you won't get everything you need. That's the way we did it 30 years ago on the old gasser. All right, folks. Be our final two minutes, then we'll move it up to the top rack, do a little indirect heat, and bring up the temperature to 125, and we'll see how we did on the old gasser. I think about these old gas grills, you notice how the red will change to dark red when it gets hot, and as it cools off, it goes back to its normal red. It's kind of cool. I don't know why it does that. It must be that powder coating or whatever it is. Pretty quiet back here this morning. Ain't no kids running around. I come out a little early to film this thing. If not, a lot of people back here. Now these things very accurate. You get these from Weber, they're only like three bucks, the most accurate little temperature gauge I've seen. I check it all the time. I throw down some boiling water, check it, it's always perfect. Ah. Ah. Look at that, nice crust, folks. Up there. Uh, shut off the back burner. Now we stop this thing. There you go. We'll check this out. Yeah. Base that with a little butter. We'll put that on there. Let that continue cooking for a little bit. Beautiful. And go. Yeah, we got a nice uh, press there. Check it out. <laughs> About 130, we'll pull that off. Ah, nice, beautiful crust. We'll give, give it a little more of this butter here. Rosemary and thyme on there. There we go. Ah. Beautiful. Take it in, let it rest. See how the old gasser did. 
this thing has rested for about 10-15 minutes. Let's cut open and see how we did. This guy right here. Take a piece right out of the middle here, folks. There you go. Wow. Look at that. 30 year old gas grill. Let's try it out, see how it tastes. Wow. Not bad, folks. The way we did 30 years ago on a gasser. Uh, charcoal's the way to go, folks, but get a chance to restore an old Weber, Genesis, do it. Highly recommend it. Look at that, folks. Remember to always buy your meat at a local butcher shop. This comes from the Rice Lake Butcher Shop in my town of Rice Lake, Wisconsin. So buy your meat at your local butcher shop in your town. Support them. Alright? Very good. Mm. Also, I like to thank Tommy. Gallery Backyard Barbecue sent me some cool stickers. Appreciate the support, Tommy. We all support each other's YouTube channels. That's how we do. We're not in competition with each other. We support each other. All right. Thanks for watching another episode of Scotty's Backyard Barbecue. And I, next time I'll throw in some baby back ribs on that little gasser, maybe with a smoke box. See how they turn out. Look forward to that one. Thanks again, folks, for watching. Bye. <laughs>